Chocolate was first used as a drink over 3,500 years ago in Central America. It was very popular with the Mayans and the Aztecs, who mixed cocoa beans with vanilla or chili peppers. In fact, cocoa beans were so important to them that they were used as money. The first version of football is believed to have originated as Kyuju, originating from China during the Han Dynasty, from 206 BC to 220 CE. Kyuju literally translated as kickball, and the objective of this game was to get the ball into the net. Similar to later versions in England, Kyuju also did not allow the ball to be touched with hands. Soil pollution is an example of our negative impacts on the environment due to modern farming practices and the abuse of chemical pesticides. The soil is losing more and more crucial minerals and microorganisms in it. As a result, the quality of soil is rapidly degraded. Arable land will turn into a desert or be lost to erosion and water logging. Furthermore, the soil is also polluted by improper disposal of waste or heavy metals from factories and power plants. These substances will enter the waterways and then our food chain, which gradually does harm our health. To solve the problem, plants must build proper waste disposal systems, and people should avoid using harmful chemicals in farming. Air pollution is one of the most important pollution that humans need to understand and prevent because it is the cause of global warming. Recently, Hanoi has announced that air pollution is at an alarming level with gray skies, which can directly affect human health. The main reason is due to human activities from means of transport, industrial production, and weather factors. Our country is taking measures such as minimizing private vehicles, removing old vehicles, preventing dust at construction sites, and not burning products that generate emissions that are toxic to the environment, at the same time planting many trees. A fresh sky and air is what everyone wants, but to get that, people need to raise their awareness, contribute to protecting the environment, and protect us. Everyone in my family is very busy. The time everyone can see each other is at meals. Therefore, my mother always carefully prepared the meal. I often help mom with cooking in my spare time. After we set the food on the table, I called my dad and brother to eat. We will wish everyone a delicious me. My dad will tell us about interesting things when he goes to work. My mother often talks about the things she just bought. My brother and I laughed happily too, because my dad works so hard, he can eat a lot. I love the food my mom cooks. I hope I can cook as well as my mother. After eating, she will prepare me and my brother with fresh milk. I don't like drinking milk very much, but my mom said it would be good for me. My family's meals are simple but always full of laughter. I love my family. During the summer vacations, almost everyone is allowed to travel. And so do I. Last year I went to Nha Trang Beach. It was much more interesting than I expected. So this year, my family decided to change the destination. We went to Samsung Beach. It's very beautiful. In the morning, we go for a walk around the beach. In the afternoon, we swim on the beach and when it gets dark, we go to entertainment areas to have fun. Everyone has their own habits. This habit will be formed based on our personality, time, and way of living. 
I often have a habit of listening to music while showering. I think many of you will have this habit like me. Bath time is the time I relax. If you only hear the sound of running water, it would be boring. That's why I play music often. I'll play my favorite songs and hum along with them. I found out that when we sing in the bathroom, our voices are very good. Every time I take a shower, my sister will complain that I take a long shower. But gradually, my sister got used to it. I think this is an interesting habit that helps me relax. You can try the experience to feel it. Studying is a lifelong job. Until we reach adulthood, we still need to learn. Building a good study habits will help you improve yourself and manage your time better. I often wake up early to learn memorization lessons. During class time, I often focus on listening to lectures to be able to understand the knowledge that teachers impart. From then on, I will not spend too much time on studying the old lessons. I really like reading books. Reading habit is also one of my study habits. I usually enjoy holding and reading all the books I see. I buy a lot of books and read them every evening. I also love learning the guitar, so I will spend the weekend practicing guitar. I feel that learning to improve is a very good thing. Over time we live and develop, and each of us will choose a unique habit. My friends have a habit of playing games on the weekends. Personally, I have a habit of reading in my free time every day. This habit of mine is formed from the shape of my hobby. Since childhood, I have enjoyed reading. The types of books that I often read are books about life, manners, and economics. Ever since I could read, I have always enjoyed reading. However, when I was a kid, the kind of books I read were usually comic books. Currently, Studying time is quite busy so I don't have a fixed time for reading. However, whenever I have time I will read, I usually carry a book that I am half reading in my bag. This ensures I can read in as anywhere and at any suitable time. I think the habit of reading has helped me improve myself a lot. In the future, I will keep this useful habit. If you are free, you can practice reading habits like me. The size of the dinosaurs is a matter of much controversy in the archaeological world. According to the new fossil discovery of a dinosaur named Argentinosaurus, this may be the largest dinosaur we have ever known. An adult Argentinosaurus can weigh 70 tons. With a length of up to 40 meters and a height of 7.3 meters, Meanwhile, the largest animal today is the blue whale with a length of 30 meters and a weight of 200 tons. The first dinosaur bone fossil discovered was that of Megalosaurus, found in 1677 in a quarry in Oxford. The person who discovered this fossil is Professor Robert Plott from Oxford University, Although it took a century for scientists to name this dinosaur. According to a program that simulates the dinosaur T-Rex of scientists, it has a maximum running speed of 29 kilometers per hour. That means it's hard for a T-Rex to catch up with a car, unlike what we've seen in the movies. However, it was still fast enough to catch up with a normal person. If you are Usain Bolt, then you have some hope of surviving with the ability to run at 44 kilometers per hour.
Most of us know about the great extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. The cause was an asteroid colliding with Earth, wiping out more than 70% of all living species. However, that was not the only disaster for the dinosaurs. 200 million years ago, another mass extinction known as the Trias Jura also caused the extinction of many terrestrial species. Dinosaurs in the movies we used to see were scaly, and hairless animals, even flying thunder lizards, had no feathers. However, the latest research shows that some dinosaurs had feathers, but they did not have the ability to fly. That's quite strange, since this feature is similar to that of mammals. Meanwhile, we still think that dinosaurs are more like reptiles. In dinosaur movies, we often see the T-Rex appearing with the herbivorous Stegosaurus. However, in fact, these two dinosaurs did not live in the same period, so they cannot appear together. While the T-Rex lived in the Cretaceous, Stegosaurus lived in the Jurassic period and became extinct 80 million years before the T-Rex appeared. Newly discovered fossils show that some dinosaurs also had parasitic fleas on their bodies, and they are giant fleas. The largest fleas can be 20 millimeters long. They have sharp jaws that can penetrate the thick skin of dinosaurs. Parasites live by sucking blood. Thousands of years ago, a goat herder named Kaldi in Ethiopia discovered the world's first coffee variety thanks to goats. When Kaldi saw the goats excitedly eating seeds from a strange tree, he tried it and felt the difference. His body was healthier and more excited. A pastor later brought the plant back to the monastery. From there, coffee was born and exists to this day. First, in 1511, the governor of Mecca Arab issued a decree prohibiting drinking coffee because he believed that coffee shops were unhealthy entertainment places. The second time, King Charles II in 1675 also thought that it was a breeding ground for rebellion so he banned it. However, in the face of fierce opposition from the people, Eleven days later the king had to revoke the announcement. Frederick the Great was the third person to ban coffee drinking in Germany in 1677. The characteristic red soil, combined with a hot, humid and rainy climate, makes coffee very suitable for growing in countries near the equator. You will be surprised to know that all the coffee in the world is grown on the same latitude. People named this special area the Bean Belt. A study has shown that the heat from roasting black coffee reduces the amount of caffeine in this bean. On the contrary, coffee beans that are roasted golden and have a light color have more caffeine. Another interesting thing is that every day billions of people drink coffee with about 1,400 billion cups of coffee consumed. According to studies published by scientists in 2005, people who drink coffee every day are less likely to get diabetes than people who do not drink it. Besides, coffee contains antioxidants so it can improve your health day by day. Coffee is known as the second most commonly traded commodity in the world, second only to black gold oil. During a difficult period in Japan, Mr. Momofuku Endo saw people waiting in long lines to eat a bowl of ramen noodles and came up with the idea of producing instant noodles. He wanted to be able to create a product that was delicious.
but also cheap and easy to prepare in a shorter time than ramen noodles. After a period of research and development, he launched the first instant noodles in 1958. Nowadays, you can buy a package of instant noodles at any store or supermarket at an extremely cheap price. However, in the past, it was considered a luxury item when sold for 35 yen to six times more expensive than fresh yudin noodles in grocery stores at that time. The noodles are designed in a curvy shape so they can fit compactly in the packaging. However, the actual size of the noodle can be up to 51 meters if straightened. This length will be equivalent to two standard basketball courts. Momofuku Ando not only invented common noodles, but in 2005 he also launched a noodle called Space Ram. This type of noodle is vacuum-packed with a smaller noodle texture. This allows astronauts to conveniently use them in space. According to some surveys, 90% of American youth wear jeans everywhere, except bed and church. The above survey showed that American youth are the number one fans of jeans. Many people still wonder about the concept of gene and genes. Many people think genes is plural, gene is singular. In fact, genes are a type of pants. Gene is a type of material and they only differ by the letter S. When talking about genes, we have to mention cowboys. Because these are the pioneers in bringing genes to the community. In 1930, when Hollywood made movies about cowboys in the American West, cowboys started wearing jeans, turning these worker pants into a popular outfit. In the 60s of the 20th century, many schools in the U.S. banned students from wearing jeans to school. The reason is because they consider it one of the symbols of teenage rebellion. You will probably be surprised to know that the name Jeans originates from Genoa, an Italian place. The story is that there was a sailor from Genoa, Italy, who liked to wear these pants and people used the place Genoa to name the pants. The French pronounced Genoa as Jeans, then Jean. The size of the moon is about 27% of the size of the Earth. Gravity on the moon is only about one-sixth of Earth's gravity. If you drop a rock on the moon, it will fall more slowly. If you weigh 68 kilograms on Earth, you will weigh about 11 kilograms on the moon. The moon's orbit around the Earth is an oval. So the distance between the Earth's center and the moon's center changes with each orbit. When the moon is closest to the Earth, the distance is 363,300 kilometers. The farthest distance is 405,500 kilometers. Tides on Earth are mainly caused by the moon. The moon's gravity pulls on Earth's oceans. High tide is aligned with the moon as the Earth rotates below. By the time you read this article, the moon has moved far away from us. Each year, the moon takes some of Earth's rotational energy and uses it to propel itself about four centimeters above its orbit. A blue moon is a cyclical phenomenon that appears every 2.5 years. Normally, the moon is only full once a month on the full moon day. If the full moon occurs again in the same month, it is called a blue moon.
The black moon is also defined quite similarly to the blue moon. If a blue moon is a phenomenon in which the moon is full once a month, a black moon is a phenomenon in which there is no full moon. The black moon phenomenon will occur about every 19 years. A supermoon is a phenomenon in which our moon is full and located at its extreme approach, the closest point to the Earth. Therefore, on Earth, the moon's eye can be observed to be larger and brighter than normal. Blood moon also known as blood moon, blood moon, etc. This is a special phenomenon of a total lunar eclipse. Many people believe that every time the blood moon appears, many events will take place, and some even believe that it is the end of the world. If you think that smartphones are a 21st century device, you are definitely wrong. In fact, the first mobile device was sold in the US in 1983. The device called Dynatac was developed by Dr. Martin Cooper. And not surprisingly, its price is very high. The first phone could only store 30 contacts, weighed about 1.1 kilograms, and had a talk time of only 30 minutes. If you want to own it, you also have to spend a huge amount of money at that time, 3,999 USD. Your smartphone can go everywhere with you, which means it picks up a ton of bacteria along the way. Scientific research shows that a used phone contains many types of bacteria that are 18 times more harmful than a toilet seat. Never underestimate the power hidden inside your modern smartphone. According to information from NASA, a mid-range smartphone today also has higher computing power than the supercomputer used for the Apollo 11 moon landing. How often do you use your smartphone? Statistics from a screen lock app show that the average person unlocks their phone about 110 times per day. In particular, the peak unlocking time takes place from about 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Have you ever been afraid that your phone would turn off? or lose signal for a long period of time. According to statistics in the UK, nearly 53% of smartphone users tend to worry when they lose their mobile phone, run out of battery, run out of money, or are out of coverage area. Can you spend a day without a smartphone in your hand? What about for the rest of this life? According to Pew Research, up to 46% of smartphone users answer that they can't live without this device. Incredibly, the weight of the sun is almost equal to the weight of 330,060 Earths. If the inside of the sun was empty, it could be filled with 960,000 spherical Earths. Many people believe that there are nine planets around the Sun in the solar system Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. However, according to science, there are only eight planets because Pluto is out of orbit compared to the other eight planets. The sun has the right size, shape, brightness, temperature, age and distance for life to exist on Earth. If one of these indicators is wrong, 
even a very small deviation, life on Earth may not exist. Our Sun is just one of 100 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. At more than 4.6 billion years old, the Sun is considered a middle-aged dwarf star, meaning the Sun has lived half its life, and is now known as a yellow dwarf star. The Sun's huge gas mass accounts for 99.86% of the total gas mass of the entire solar system. The Sun consists of about 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. Other metals make up only 0.1% of the mass of the Sun's gas. The Sun is surrounded by an extremely powerful stream of plasma, called the corona, which means crown in Latin. The Sun's corona halo can reach millions of kilometers in space, and is most easily seen during a total solar eclipse. With a distance of 150 million kilometers, it takes light from the Sun 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach the Earth's surface. Although the light rays take less than 10 minutes to reach Earth, it takes millions of years for these rays to reach the surface from the core of the Sun. If we depart from Earth with a normal plane, with a speed of 664 km per hour, it will take us 20 years of non-stop travel to reach the Sun. The Sun's equatorial diameter is roughly equal to its pole diameter, about 10 kilometers, meaning the Sun is almost a perfect sphere. Is brown bread always wholemeal? Wrong. Brown does not mean whole grain. It could be the color of molasses or other things. To check if bread is wholemeal, read the ingredient list carefully. Where is the best place to store bread? Many people think that keeping bread in the refrigerator helps it stay fresh longer. But this can cause the bread to go stale faster. You should leave bread on the kitchen table dining table, cool places, bread bought at the supermarket, if placed on the kitchen table, will stay fresh for two to four days. Can eating too much bread increase blood pressure? That's right. If you eat bread for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you not only eat too much carbohydrates but also salt. A slice of bread does not contain much salt, but eating bread multiple times a day can increase your sodium intake, and too much salt can increase your blood pressure. In your opinion, how much information can people remember? The answer may surprise you. Human brain cells can hold five times more information than Encyclopedia Britannica, or any other encyclopedia you know? Scientists still don't have a consensus figure, but the brain's electronic storage capacity can be up to 1,000 terabytes. Britain's National Archives, containing more than 900 years of history, takes up just 70 terabytes. A comparison that makes the brain's memory truly impressive. The brain only makes up about 2% of our body mass, but consumes more oxygen than any other organ in the body. This makes it extremely vulnerable to lack of oxygen. Therefore, breathing deeply will keep the brain happy in the ocean of oxygen. Most of us think that the process of working and thinking 
will consume more brain power than lying in bed. Actually, the opposite is true. The time when we go to sleep is the brain's active working time. IQ the higher you are, the more dreams you have. This is true. But don't think that if you can't remember your dreams you are feeling down. Most of us don't remember much about our dreams. And the length of most dreams is usually very short. Sometimes only about 2 to 3 seconds. Lions are one of the most social species. They live together in large prides of 15 to 40 animals including many adult males. Lionesses and their cubs. The larger the herd, the more strength it shows. And the greater the number of males, the more it helps ensure the safety of the offspring. We are easily attracted to the powerful demeanor of male lions. However, female lions are responsible for 85 to 90 percent of the hunting. Meanwhile, males are responsible for protecting the herd and territory from rival herds or other predators. Although it can live without water for four days, an adult lion needs about 10 to 15 pounds of meat every day. Famous as a symbol of strength, the lion's roar can terrify any animal and can you believe it, it can be heard up to 8 kilometers away. The lion has many natural physical characteristics that help it become a great hunter in the wild. For example, a lion's vision is six times more sensitive to light than a human's. In addition, they have the ability to reach speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour in a very short time, and jump up to more than 10 meters high. After the tiger, the lion is the second largest cat in the world. The average male lion weighs about 180 kilograms, while the average female lion weighs about 130 kilograms. The heaviest lion ever recorded had a body weight of up to 375 kilograms. A good measure of a male lion's age is the dark color of his mane. The older the male lion, the darker his mane becomes. Known as the king of the jungle, however, lions do not actually live in the jungle. Instead, their main habitat is grasslands and plains. A rainbow is a multicolored arc that forms in the sky, created by both the reflection and refraction of light by water droplets in the atmosphere, resulting in the appearance of a spectrum of light. A rainbow is only an optical phenomenon, so we can only observe the rainbow but cannot approach or touch it. Any two people cannot see the same rainbow. In fact, even each person's eyes will see the rainbow slightly differently. If two people stand in the same position to observe a rainbow, they may see two different rainbows due to the difference in perspective. Rainbows can be seen not only in rain, but also in dew, spray, fog, or whenever there are water drops in the air and light is coming from behind them, at the right angle. A rainbow is essentially a full circle of light, however, because most people view rainbows from the ground, we only see half of the rainbow circle or arc. If we observe a rainbow from an airplane, or from high-rise buildings, we can observe a circular full rainbow.